Always. I know you'll be at my show. Always. <laughs> you'll be at my show. Watching. Waiting. Come is your rating. Well, that's going so- oh, shit. You've got it recording. <laughs> and that is the cold open. Come on. Warning, the following show will spoil the hell out of George R.R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire books and the TV show A Game of Thrones. Also, you're probably going to find a fuck ton of bad language. The explicit tag is there for a reason. Death and boobies, 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 death and boobies. Hello and welcome back to the Ironwood Network Book Club. I'm your host, Septa Ironwood, and with me, as always, is Maester Ironwood. How are you doing today? Quarantined. Yes. <sighs> Continuous. Yep. Day 5,337 of quarantine. Found out we are at least a whole another month of quarantine here yes. in New York. Yep. At least May a whole another month. May 15th there officially goes my birthday. Yep. At this point, we're pushing it out to my birthday. Yes, we are. Not that I really would want to go too many different places even then on my birthday, I don't think. Right. I wait a couple of years to reintegrate into society at this point. <laughs> Which was a vaccine. You know, there is no hazard pay at my facility for No this hazard shit. pay for anybody. <sighs> I don't get paid enough to be this stressed. Yeah, see, here's the thing. Uh, we're going to get into politics here for a second. I understand why the federal government tacked on 600 additional dollars per week to people's unemployment. Because people need money because they yes. need the economy to be moving, at and least I, a little bit. I have no problem with that. Right. But we don't should, get it. Everybody who is forced to keep working yes. should also be getting that extra $600. Yes. Like, fine. Like, if you're just like, okay, like, don't give it to me. Why? I mean, I would like it, of course. Yes. But, like, if you are required to be doing your job, like, say you work at an ER. Oh, that's me. You should probably be getting that extra $600 a week. I still haven't even got my stimulus check. I know you haven't. So. You also haven't looked up to change your information, so. Well, I tried today, but I couldn't at work. Well, no, because you have to go on to tax layer on your laptop, yeah. like I told you, and look up. Yes, I do. Your, ta- your, your total re- refund amount. Yes. So you can get your information yep. and put in your. Yep. Yep. And we already spent all mine. Yes. We did what we were supposed to. Yes. We took that money and stimulated the economy. But we, we bought it. We spent it on stuff that we needed, but we never would have bought ourselves anyways with our regular paychecks. Right. Bought so, a new like, lawnmower. Yes. The lawnmower. New chainsaw. <laughs> yep. Chainsaw. New water a, compressor. Yeah. Power, power, power washer. washer. Yep. Stuff that we needed, but we wouldn't have bought anyways, and we would have suffered. Yep. A couple of websites. Yes. Yep. Yeah, we paid a couple bills. New chairs yeah. for the office. Yes, because um, we are sitting on some really old, broken chairs. Well, as no, we that one's this. fine. The one you're on's fine. My ass is too big for this chair. Well, yeah, because it's, it's just a posing <laughs> stool. Yeah. yeah, my ass is way too big for this. I have fallen off it twice. Mine's an old, short stool. That, that had a back. We Had a back, but the back is gone because it's like 10 years old. Yes, and it does look like it's broke off. Yeah, it did. So, um, yeah. And I have a tall standing desk that sometimes I like to sit at. And your leather office chair does not, not work, work for that. For that, yeah. so we had to order some taller drafting yeah. style chairs. Yeah. So we didn't go like buy a bunch of shit we didn't need because everything we bought will be continuously used. Right. And when I get my money, it'll be paying off bills that we're buying other stuff we want. I haven't decided what I'm going to spend it on, <laughs> other than paying off, like, the fuel bill that needs to be paid off right. for the winter. Yeah. And probably buying more cat toys to stow away. <laughs> <laughs> for when it finally ruined the one cat toy they have. That they have left, yeah. Well, they have two, technically. They do. The other one's just out of cat. Well, though. how many balls are, like, all over the house and we have 4, no 000, idea where 4, they're? 4,000. There's at least nine. 4,000. I did find one this afternoon because someone brought it out from under the couch. Yeah, every once in a while, Malfi will bring me one because he wants to play yes. fetch with well, it. Well, this was one of the bigger ones, and Michael was batting it around, so mm. I was actually kind of impressed by it. Well, he'll bat him around, but yeah. only Malfi plays fetch with them. Yeah. We have an idiot cat who 
brings me one of his little balls with the bell in them, the little plastic balls with the yep. bell, and then makes me stand at the top of the stairs to the basement. I have to throw, bounce the ball down the stairs, let it roll all the way across the basement, and then he runs down and chases after it, and then, like a dog, grabs it and brings it back to me, and then sits there and make me do it again, and again, <laughs> and again, and again, and again, and again. He's the only cat I've ever met who plays fetch. And we didn't teach him how to play fetch. No, he figured so. it out on his own. Yep. None of his brothers have figured this out. Nope. And Mama don't care. She, she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> nope. She likes to stay warm in her room. Mm-hmm. Which is our room, but it's her room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, Septa. Yes. We're not here to talk about quarantine. We're here to talk about A Feast for Crows. Yes. What chapter? Podrick. Or Bran. Yeah, we're here to talk about Podrick. Yeah. <laughs> I know it was a POV. Brian. Yes, Brian. Five. Uh, my guess was four. So. Brian five. Okay. All right. Uh, before I get to a synopsis, which won't take long, because not much happened. Yeah. Uh, I do have a haiku. Yeah. <clears throat> a man of the cloth wanders around endlessly, spreading the good word. That was nothing to do with Brian, actually. It was all about Septon Maribold. Septon. Septon Maribold. Oh, I thought I called him Septa. No, Septon Maribold. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the Quiet Isle. I can't wait till we get to the Quiet Isle because we're going to see somebody there who we might not expect to see there. A grave digger. A grave digger. I've already read it. You did, huh? I did. You know who the grave digger is? I know who everyone thinks it is. Okay. Because we don't have a confirmation on that yet. No verification yep. as of yet. But even the show paid homage to the fact that it's yes. most likely... Is Sander Clegane. Yes. When he dug that grave. Yes, but that is not this chapter. That is not. That, that is, is down there. That's like the, the next, next Brienne, Brienne chapter. chapter. Yeah. Yes. All right, so this chapter On the was road again. useless. <laughs> it was. This chapter, um... Can't the wait first... to get on the road again. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep trucking along. <laughs> the first half of it was wandering back to Maidenpool from Cracklaw Point disgusted by the heads of the three men that Brienne killed all the way along. Um, there was a quick interstitial in the middle where Lord Randall Tarley continued to ber berate Brienne and berate. tell her that um, the best thing that could happen to her is that she gets raped and learns her place. So he's a charming fellow. Fuck him. And after that... Uh, and that's Sam's dad? That's Sam's dad. Yeah, fuck him. And then after that, uh, Brienne and Pod and Sir Heil the Hunter and a new man, Septon Maribold, make their way to the salt pans, which is where the Hound was supposedly last seen. You mean Sir Heil Hunt? Yeah. Okay. Sir Heil the Hunter. Sure. He's a hunter of Brienne's heart. I don't think so. <laughs> They're making their way to the salt pans because supposedly the hound was seen there. Yes. And supposedly he killed everybody there except for one person. Yes. While looking for a ship. Yes. Um, but the last I checked, the hound was dead. Or yeah. dying. Last I checked, he was dying. So we'll see. In, he was in no state to be raid killing anybody. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, and we also learned about a new character. A Stoneheart lady. Yeah, Dondarrion's lover. Yes. Who he brought to life with a kiss. Yes. All we right. We will discuss that. We'll get to that. All right. So, let's start this. Yeah. Sir Hylehunt is so... Sorry, that was me. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't kick my desk all over the place. I'm sorry. Sir Hylehunt was so impressed by Lady Brienne's murder spree. That he chopped off the men's heads and just had to take them home to... Well, so he figures that uh, Lord Tarly will want them as yes. proof of what happened. Yes. Because they were outlaws and he mm -hmm. likes to um, tar and hang, and well, yeah, hang the a, heads. Yeah, as a sign yeah. to other would-be and, outlaws. Yeah, Brienne was convinced that he would say he killed them. Yep. To his credit, he George did says not. he did not say that. Yeah. He actually said it was her. To Randall Tarley. Tarley is flabbergasted. Yes. And then he, um, Sir Heil Hunt tells Lord Tarley that she is quicker than any man he's ever seen fight. And Randall Tarley ain't having this shit. He says, no, the sword is fast. That is 
how Valyrian steel behaves. Yes. So again, she is a freak of nature. Right. So again, we have this whole assigning human characteristics and actions to Valyrian steel swords, yes. as if there is life in them. Yes. And that she's not fast. The sword is fast. Well, she is, and the sword makes her faster. So. Not according to Lord Tarly. But she is also a freak of nature. So. 100% true. Yes. She is the Duncan, size of... She, she is... She's the, she's the great, great granddaughter of uh, Sir, Sir Doug the Tall. Tall. Yeah. yeah. She's a Hodor. Yeah. But, like, smart still. Yes. Um. So, yeah. So, uh, he still doesn't fucking like her. No, he's like, now that you've done your deed, dress like a woman and get on a ship and go home. Yep. We have one heading that way. Tomorrow. Yep, go to Tarth. Get on. And she's like, mm, no. Yeah. And he, he's like, I give you my leave. And she's like, I don't need you to, fuckface. Like, <laughs> I've got a fucking letter. You can go suck a dick. Yeah. I well, that's, really, I he's really like, don't need He's like, permission. I know you have your letter, so you don't need my leave. But I give it to you anyway. Get the uh, fuck out yeah. of my way. And she's like, well, can we have your hospitality for the night? And he's like, no. Not a chance. I don't want to deal with you any longer than I have to. Yep, so get the fuck out of the castle and yep. go back to the fucking shit town. Yeah. You can stay there. If for you're the not going to go home, then take your ass somewhere. GTFO. Yeah. GTFO. Yeah, go ahead, get raped, and maybe you'll learn to go home. Yep. Asshole. And you'll, you'll go home with some dog's bastard. Yeah, in your belly. Yeah. Whatever. And the best part is, he's like, I'm given to understand that your father's a great man. What a shame that he was stuck with you. Yeah. 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 Some, some great men have sons and other great men have daughters. Unfortunately, your father got stuck with you. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. What an ass. Wow. How does this no guy's wife... No wonder Sam <laughs> terrified of the man. How does his wife deal with him? Probably only in the marriage bed. Well, I mean, granted, how long has he been gone at this point? Like... She's probably living it up at fucking Horn Hill. Oh, like, yeah, absolutely. Dick face is gone. Dick yeah. face is gone. Dick well, face is gone. No, because that's her son, Dickon. Dickon. Whatever. Well, yeah, so her, his dad is Dick face, and he's yeah. Dickon. <laughs> dick face and Dickon. <laughs> and later on, we'll meet Dick off, and it's all good. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Theon. Yes. All right. So, yeah. Well, that's actually the next book, because yeah. there's no Theon chapters yeah. in this one. So... The, uh, Bran and Pod go to look for an inn. Yeah, they go, well, they go back to the inn that they've already yes. been to. And the smelly Sir, goose. Sir, stinking goose. Stinking goose, whatever. Smelly goose. Sir Hyle says, meet me at the stinking goose tomorrow. I will talk to my cousin because he went looking for the hound and he had no luck. But he has information. Yes. So let me get that information and I'll bring it to you tomorrow. Yes. So they go to find a room. All the inns are full because mm-hmm. the Tarly men are there. Mm-hmm. And they end up finding a... Half destroyed ship. Yes. To rent a cabin on for the night. Yep. Now let's talk about these ships for a minute because okay. there's one that caught my eye. Oh, there is, huh? And well, the way you just said that, I think you know what I'm talking about. Let's have it. Okay. So they're at the pier. Yep. And they're looking at all the ships, and a lot of ships won't take them mm-hmm. because some think she's a whore, others think it's bad luck to have a woman on board. Yep. There was one ship that was pulling their ropes and getting ready to set sail. Mm-hmm. The Titan's Daughter. Mm. Isn't this the one that Arya was on? Mm, you tell me. Yes. Was it? Yes. Was she on the Titan's Daughter? Not at this current time, because she's already in Bravos. But she's been. She was on the ship. So, so Titan's they, daughter's already back. I think. Okay. I don't because. I don't think this is when she got on because we have Arya chapters in this book. Well, that and Arya got on the boat at the salt pans. Oh, so you think Arya was there at that point? No. I don't think that the timelines are that screwed up. Okay. No. But so, Arya got on at the salt pans. Yes. So she's not here at Maidenpool. Right. She's already in Bravos at this That's point. That's what I was thinking. Right, yeah. But if she had stopped to talk... If the ship had stayed a few minutes longer and Brandon had talked to the captain, she may have found out where Arya went. She's not looking for Arya. She no. doesn't even talk about Arya. I know. She's looking so for Sansa. it wouldn't have mattered. I don't think. You don't think? No. If she said she was looking for a maid? Highborn maid. Right. About 13 or 14 with auburn hair. Yeah. That's not Arya. That's true. That's Arya is true. 11 with black hair. Yes. That's true. So... Okay. Well, maybe they would have said, "Oh, we had we had one 
girl, but it wasn't her. I don't think they would. Because she but, had the faceless men coin. Yeah. I don't think they're going to talk about her at all. Oh, okay. I, I just don't, I don't think that they would talk about her at all. Like, okay. that's like a, a hush hush off the books okay. manifest passenger. Okay. Well, yeah, because she got the captain's quarters. And right, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I was just thinking maybe she could have gotten but, some yes, information. Yes, you are on correct. Aria. This is the, the, this is that boat. Yes. Back again. Well, even if it wasn't the captain, maybe it was the friend that Arya had befriended on the boat. Well, I mean, the captain is obviously still with his boat. Right. So. Well, he was the captain's son. Yeah. So. so. But yeah, uh, she can't stay on that one. She can't stay on any of them except for this one that is listing almost. All the way over. And its mast is gone. Because part of its ma- half of its mast is gone. Yep. And it's so run down and the captain can't afford the repair. So he's happy to take Brienne's money. Pennies. In order to at least have some money to put towards repairs. Yes. Because yes. he got caught in a storm. Yep. Which I'm going to assume is the same storm that we just, we previously left Samwell going through. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, the- so everyone's like real close and no, but they're just like... Well, they're really not, though. I know, but it's like, like clo- Sam's out to they're sea. closer than they think. But they're really not, though. Think about how far apart they're. Far- they're they have never been further apart than they are now. Bri- right, but they're all Brienne- in the same like. No, they're not, though. Sam and Arya are in Bravos. Right, which is all the way across the fucking ocean. Yes, I know, but Bran is at the port that took Arya to no. Bravos. No, Arya got on at the salt pans. Brienne is not at the salt pans. Oh, Brienne that's is right. at She's main, at main pool. pool. Okay. Yes, that's right. This boat probably just went through the same okay. storm that Sam's boat went through. However... No, it's he- but it's heading into another storm. Right. So... And... But, like, it's a hurricane, so it's huge. Yes. yes. So those boats may never even know that each other were there. Right. No, I get it. So, like, they've never been further apart. No, I, I get, like, mile a while. Plus, Arya's, like, way off in the Vale. Or Sansa. Is way off in the veil. Right. No, I'm saying, like, the players of, like, the characters, instead of being, like, all yes. over Westeros, right, now they're room. all in the same quadrant. God. I... <sighs> what you I'm mean just saying, say, like, What you mean to say is that their paths have intersected in yes. this area. They're, but they're long gone from there. They, they all went through this area at different times. Okay. Yes. Fine. I think... Because they're they're not, like they're, like I yes said, I know they're not all right there in the town yes well okay you're getting fresh with me I'm trying to figure out what are you trying to say that you said it we're good this is why we don't record at night because you get mad at me we always record at night and then once in a while you get mad at me when we do once in a while yep I'll get over it I always do <laughs> but yes I see what you're saying in that there's we have a whole lot of like intersecting things. Mm-hmm. Right? We have the ship that Arya was on. Yes. Even though she was on it, at this point, probably a month ago. We have the storm that Sam's in. The storm that Sam was in slash is in. Mm-hmm. With another boat, because most likely. Because he was stuck in a number of right. storms. The Hound is all over this story in this area. Mm-hmm. And then we have Sansa just off doing her own Sansa thing in the yes. Vale at this point. Yep. So. She gets snowstorms. They don't have hurricanes there. Yep. And then we have a ship heading north. Yes. To White Harbor. Yes. Which Brienne probably would have been smart to get on. Why? Because she'd have been closer to Sansa that way. Or would that be going past Sansa? It would be going past way? Sansa. Sansa's here. North is here. Okay. So, I mean, it puts her nowhere in the vicinity of Sansa. Okay. Uh, would have put her in the vicinity of fake Arya, headed north. Right. To marry Ramsay Bolton. Right. But that's about it. Yeah. Um, Sansa's in the position of nobody's going to figure out where she is. Because yeah. she's not herself. Yep. And she's being protected by Littlefinger. You mean she's being held captive by Littlefinger? Protected by Littlefinger, because he's the Lord Protector. Yeah. He protect her, all right. Yeah. But, yeah. So, yes, there's a lot of interconnection going on mm-hmm. right here. Lots of individual pieces. Um, it's it's <laughs> almost as narrow as when Arya missed her family at the Twins. Yes. But not. Like, the time frame is just... It seems like it's so close together, but yes. it's, it's actually not as compressed as it seems. Right. She was much closer when she arrived, like, a minute after her mother was killed or whatever. Yeah. Which was fortunate for her, because she doesn't need Catelyn. <laughs> it was fortunate for her because she didn't die. Yeah, that, that, that too. <laughs> but, alright, so, 
uh, her and Pod spend the night on the boat. Yep. Um, Brienne can't sleep. She's having dreams about the men she killed. Them whispering at her. She dreamed Nimble Dick came to fight her. Yeah. She and, dreamed about Vargo Ho. Yep. And, and then she wondered about the Titan's daughter out there in the storm and couldn't get back to sleep. Yep. And then, so she sat up the rest of the night. Yep. In the morning, they headed off to the Smelly Goose. Stinking Goose. <laughs> and had breakfast. Yeah. And then Sir Hyle the Hunter arrived. Yeah, I did have... It's probably just a stupid question, but their food, Pod had wine-flavored water, yep. and Brienne had watered-down wine. Yes. Are, aren't they the same thing? I would say no. I think it's a matter of which you have more of. Okay. Right, so let's say, like, what I think it is is, like, like, when, I get, like a, when I get a Coke at the restaurant, I'll usually put, like, three-quarters Coke, one-quarter Sprite. Yep. I figure that that is what Brienne has, right? She has a sprited Coke. Right. Whereas the other way would be three-quarter Sprite, yep. one-quarter Coke. Okay. Which I think is what Pod had. Okay. So he had water with a little bit of wine in it for yep. flavor. She had wine with a little bit of water in it to make it last longer. Okay. Which I don't get, like... She she, she doesn't f- like to be um, disoriented. Right. So. But she could at least... Drink some wine, like a, a cup. She's not going to. Or share. She's got too much important work to do. We're split it. Like, give herself a half a cup and Pod a half a cup. Nah, Pod got a quarter cup. If he's lucky. Yeah. He probably got a splash. Probably like a Mio's worth of yeah. wine in his water. Yep. But, uh, yeah, so uh, Heil Hunt arrives. Yep. With... Information. And he says that, yep, we're going to go to the salt pans. Yep. Um, the hound... Completely destroyed the place. Killed everybody there. Yeah. I guess. And is looking for a ship. Yep. So, um, they're going to go. Um, he's going to go with them. Bran's like, the fuck you are. He's like, oh, yes, I am. Okay, well then, fine. I'll go with the maester who is going to the salt pans. Septon. and Septon. And I'll go with him, and then you guys can do what you want. You and Pod can do whatever you want. She's yeah. like, fuck. Because yep. Sir Hyle like is still... Of the thought that when Sansa, not if, but when Sansa is found, he's going to get her ransom. Yeah. There's, unfortunately, there's nobody left to pay a ransom yeah. for Sansa Stark. Yeah. Like, Jon Snow's the only one left. He didn't have money. Nope. He's in the fucking Night's Watch. Nope. But I think he hopes if he can um, present her to uh, Lord Tarly, he'll get back in his good graces. Probably. As of this point, he's been... Let go. Let go. So now he is... What's it called? A hedge knight. Yes. He is a hedge knight now. Yeah. He goes sleep under hedges. Yep. Um, which Septim Maribel tells him is just a fine thing to do. Yeah. It's better than an inn. Less fleas. Yeah. As long as it's an old one. At least yeah. 100 years old. Yeah. Nice and strong and... Dry. Yep. Yeah. From the weather. So, interesting. Uh, yeah. So, this is where our new character comes in. Yeah. The only new character we're going to really need to talk about. Yes. Septim Maribel. Yes. Who is a a wandering septon. Yes. He's just one step above a beggar. Is that what uh, they said? Uh, what are they called? The begging brothers. Yeah. yeah the, he's extremely poor. Yeah. He's a septon without a sept. Yep. So he uh, he wanders the riverlands from small little village to small little village. Yep. So small they're not on a map. Yep. But he brings them food. And he forgives their sins and gives them prayers and performs weddings. And they let him stay under their roof yep. and give him some water and food while he's yep. there. And then he's on his way. He can't stay long because they don't have much. Right. So basically, it just he just makes a circuit around the Riverlands every year, basically. Yes. Takes him about six months to go from main pool to, to main, main pool. pool. Yep. yep. Um, he is on his way at this point to the salt pans and then to a place called the Quiet Isle. Yes. He says. Yes. So they're going to follow him as far as salt pans. Yep. Because that's where Brienne also wants to go. Yes. So they're going to go with him. He will lead the way because he knows where he's going. But and he takes it by foot. Yeah. So he has a donkey. It's loaded down with food. Yep. And then he has a dog named, named Dog. Because the dog hasn't told him what his name is. What his name is. So he just goes by Dog. Yep. Interestingly. He's a very good dog, though. Yeah. And, um,. This is where we get into a little bit of conversation about how Dog has even killed a few wolves in his day. Yes. But he can't deal with the pack of wolves that are there now. Yes, because in uh, in Maribold's lifetime, 
um, throughout his wanderings, he has come across wolves, and Dog has killed a few wolves in his time. Yeah, protected him. Um, but the wolf pack that is running around now scares Dog. It is hundreds of wolves. Hundreds of wolves. It is led by a giant she wolf. Who is Ooh. vicious and only dines on the flesh of humans. Yes. Now, I thought in that entire paragraph, that was the only thing that was incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She... Undoubtedly is giant. Undoubtedly is giant. Yep. Undoubtedly is female. Undoubtedly kills whatever male tries to mount her. Mm-hmm. Uh, although I do not believe she feasts on the skin of humans. She may. Well, absolutely. she certainly did because but, remember she ate the bodies there yeah. where they found Catlin. Right, but I don't think she like actively kills humans, maybe, unless it's in self defense. But she's a wolf, so who knows? But I do know she didn't eat Catlin. She pulled her out of the water. But that's only because she recognized her. And besides, remember, that wasn't, at that point, that wasn't. That was Arya. That Nymeria. wasn't Nymeria. That was Arya. Right. So we don't know how often. Arya is in her wolf. Right. Because we don't get that. We don't get the mention of her wolf dreams every chapter like we do with Bran. Every time we talk about Bran, we, we get a mention of his wolf dreams. No, I'm trying to remember if we did. We get a few a, mentions. Y- yeah, of Arya dreaming of wolves. Yeah. Right. So but we know that she does it. Yes. We're just not clued into his how often she yes. does it, which I think is maybe to hide the bond, the... The bond that she has with Nymeria. Well, she's also in Bravo, so it could be a bit weaker at this point. Certainly. Because well when be. John and Ghost weren't near each other. Well, so here's the only difference with that. Can you guess what the difference is? Other than male and female? No. No. There's a differ- There's a difference in the circumstances between where John was and where Wolf was versus... Which Wolf? Ghost? Or Ghost. Where John was and where Ghost was versus... North and south of the wall? The wall. Okay. Big magical barrier okay. between them. Gotcha. No such barrier. Oh, uh, John be- was on one side and, Wol- and Ghost was on the other. Right. Whereas there's no magical barrier between Arya okay. and Nymeria. Nymeria. Okay. Unless there's a magical barrier inside the walls at the House of Black and White, perhaps. Right. We, don't, we don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But, yeah, okay. there's not that big magical barrier Okay. between John and Ghost. Yeah. Between Arya and Nymeria. Yep. Yeah. Gotta, gotta remember about that wall. Yep. So there's that pack of wolves. Yeah. Uh, Just running bigger r- every time. It's mentioned. Yeah, it was like under 100, then it was like 100, now it's over 200. Yep, now it's hundreds. Yep, so. Um, so I did want to talk about one thing, and I, it's, anyways. Um, so Maribel goes around every six months, and mm-hmm. he meets these townsfolk, and it's mentioned that a lot of these townsfolk, they don't go outside within a mile of their home. Even though they're less than a day's ride from Main Pool. Yep. And King's Landing and River Run, those are just t- names to them. They know they exist, but they're not places they're ever going to see. Right. And a lot of these people live in, like, stone and wood and leather huts that they build across the water. So yep. they're native, for yep. lack of a better term. Yep. And so the Septon comes in and praises the words. Right. Their gods, mm. the Seven. And goes about his day. Yep. Now, in my opinion, the only thing this is missing is pox blankets. Oh! Are you saying he's a Catholic? No, I'm saying... Headed to South America? No, I'm saying it's very... Christopher Columbus of him? Yes. Yeah. Catholic, headed to South America, yes. spreading pox blankets. Yes. Yeah. Am I, did you catch that similarity? Yes, in a way I did, and I understand exactly what you mean. Okay. Yeah. Do you think the listeners are going to understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. They, they'll definitely get it. Okay. Everybody knows what Columbus did to the natives. Yeah. Um, it's what, very, like, come in, bombard the people with your religion, and now that you know the word of God, if you don't believe it, you're going to hell. Yeah. So I would have been better off had you not told me because yes. I can't go to hell if I don't know. You're a dick. Yes. No, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah, which is what people do to native tribes all over this world still. Yes. Because they're fucking assholes. Yeah, I remember reading Stop an article about Stop goddamn evangelizing. Jesus Christ, people. I remember reading an article about a, um, a man doing this to a group of Eskimos up in the north. And uh, they did not take to it very well. No, like, people, listen. 
Not everybody in the world has to believe in the same Sky Wizard as you. I wasn't trying to make this a scolding. Oh, I am. I, Not I, everybody has to believe in your <laughs> Sky Wizard, okay? Doesn't have to happen. Except in Maribold, not everybody has to believe in your Sky Wizard. Wizards. There are nope, seven. No. Oh, yeah, he is the so one this is, that so is, this seven. is where So this is where we get something interesting that I did want to talk about with the Faith of the Seven. Okay. So, okay, so uh, Brienne mm-hmm. says, well, I was always taught that there's only one god, but he wears seven faces. And Pod says, I was taught there were seven gods. Right. And Sector Maribold says, ah... The, pe- the mind of the peasant is not able to understand the multi-faced god. The many-faced god? The many-faced god. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So the reality of the seven is that they don't have seven gods. They have a single many-faced god. Who else do we know that serves... A many-faced god. The House of Black and White. The House of Black and White. Interesting. And they're all similar. Not they're all the same damn thing. Well, they both serve the same god. Yeah. The many-faced god. Yeah. Which is interesting, right? Considering right. they claim they claim to be completely different. Right. And yet, apparently, they're not because they all they both agree. That there's one god and that he has right. many faces. Now, I have a question. How many gods are there in the old gods? Because the quote-unquote new gods are the seven. So we don't know much about the old gods, right? We don't really know. We just know the old gods and the new, and the new is seven. Right. But okay. actually one with many faces. Yes. Well, it's presented as seven. To some people. Yes. But to the learned, it is one god with, with many faces. Yes. Which is interesting. And we also learn that... The gods are flexible, right? So the the smith could be a cobbler. Yes. Or a ditch digger. Yes. Or a grave digger. Yes. It's not about the work that the man does as work. long as the man is doing work. Gotcha. Yes. So that's interesting. But yeah, I was wondering if you picked up on the... Absolutely, the tie I picked in up with on the, that. With the faceless men and yes. the many-faced god. Yes. I did catch that you have... You've been teaching me well. Nah, I'm Padawan. Good. <laughs> the force is strong with this one. Yep. But yeah, so yeah, I did want it because I want to find out, and we don't know through the book, through as far as I've read, the tie between the faceless men and the faith of the seven. Or the old gods. But there obviously is something. Right, because we believe that the... Many faced gods and the old gods have similarities or something in common because of the black water. Because of the black water, because of the, uh, the almost weirwoods. certainly the weirwood trees. Yes, and the ironwood trees. Yes, and the, the human sacrifices. Yes. The blood, sa- the blood sacrifices. Yes, which, not human, the blood sacrifices. Right, so when you think about the blood sacrifices, it takes place at Winterfell. <laughs> yes. In that black pool. When you think yes. of the blood sacrifices, they almost certainly take place at the House of Black and White. Yes. Because people go in there, drink black water, and die. Yes. Um, it almost makes me even way more convinced, like I'm almost 99.9% convinced that the pond, the womb of the earth, yes, is black water. Yes. I am, I am at this point almost completely convinced that that's the case. Right. That that is because, again, that's where the Dothraki do their blood sacrifice. Yes. And they're very, and a lot of people think they're like, can't be beaten can't be killed kind of warriors even though we know they can be but that's it right but that's not what they're sacrificing there right? they're sacrificing right so like for instance to the Daenerys face, was pregnant when she went in the right water. and so what they're sacrificing there is what's most sacred to them which is their horses right yes because she's covered in the blood of a horse heart yes so the blood sacrifice there is what's important to them yes so I think that that's almost certainly black water and it's the blood of those stallions yes that is in that black water that's being sacrificed to the gods slash gods yes. that inhabit the black water. And the Dothraki don't have gods. They just steal everyone else's gods. Right. Which makes me wonder, do they really? Right, Because, I mean, in a sense, they do. Right. Because they believe that when a cow is burned, he and his horse go up into the stars yes. and rule yes. the realm of the stars. Yes. So, in a way, that's creating... 
again, if that's the, if that's what it is that the cows then rule the heavens, mm-hmm. well, then that would also be a many-faced god when you think about right. it. Right. Because of all the cows throughout history right. that are now up there ruling. Again, that's right. many-faced, different yeah. faces. So, But not a god per se. But not a god per se. Yes. So, who knows? But they're almost certainly doing blood sacrifices. I don't even know if they realize it. It's just or if it's just so ritual. ingrained in their history. Right. Like, I don't even know if Ned completely understood the blood sacrifice that he does. I think Ned knew what he was doing. I think Ned knew more than he let on. He's very good at keeping secrets. Almost certainly he knew he knew more than he let on. Yes. Uh, same thing with Maester Lewin. Yes. Who died Otherwise, in front right. of a heart tree. Not even died in front of the heart tree, but used his last bit of possible energy to drag himself to die in front of that heart tree. Even though he was a believer of the seven. Right. Because he's from River Run. Right. Was from River Run. Right. So, who knows? It's a lot of connections. Yes. So, the most... Uh, again, with the Brienne chapter, the most important thing in it is not Brienne. It's... Yes. Little connection pieces that we get yes. to other stories. Because the rest of the chapter is just... They continue on. Yeah, they do more walking. Yes. They made a, th- a six-part movie about this. Yes. The walking. Yes. The endless walking. Maybe eventually she'll get to the end of her walking. She will. I'm pretty sure she will. Yeah. But... She doesn't end this book in a good position. Well, (laughs) that's why it's called the cliffhanger. Yeah. Oh, literally. Oh, really? Oh, well, hanger. Oh, okay. Hanger. All right. um, Yeah, I don't have much more to go I don't have anything else. It was just all that information. Yeah. Are you surprised I caught on to as much as I I did? I was surprised that you caught the many-faced god thing. Yeah. I was wondering if you would. I was... (laughs) Very happy that you did. Oh, thank you. I'm trying. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. We need a name for this chat here. Details. <laughs> um. What about all them gods. All them gods. <laughs> uh, all about the gods. Oh, did we? We forgot to talk about one thing. What's that? Lady Stoneheart. Lady Stoneheart. Lady Stoneheart. Catelyn's alive as Lady Stoneheart. Spoilers. <laughs> We have everybody knows. Yes. We <coughs> if you've read the books, you know we have mentioned Lady Stoneheart before yep. because we do know what happens to her. Um, the rumors that are going around is that Lady Stoneheart is Derek Bombarian's lover. Beric Dondarrion. Who is I did, Derek Bombarian? I did that last time too. <laughs> yes, you did. She is Dondarrion's lover, who the phrase murdered, and he. They they hung her and killed her. And he brought her back and to life. And he brought her back to life with... A kiss. Yes. A magic kiss. So it's a fairy kiss. tale. Yes. True love's first kiss or just a magical kiss? I'm going to assume just a magical kiss. Yes. And I assume... So now she is... She can't die just like him. Except However, that he's dead now. We know that. Right. But they in don't. the book, no one knows where he is. They don't, No one knows he's, he's dead. He's being hidden. Yes. Yeah. And she's out doing his dirty work for him. Yep, she is out with a another quote unquote another band of outlaws. Yes, um, killing people. Yes, they're not as nice as Beric and Darian's outlaws. Except they are. Beric they're a little and more Darian's vicious, outlaws. right? Exactly, but they have a more vicious leader now. Yes. So because she is brutal. Yes, they don't call her Stoneheart for nothing. Yes. So yes, so Lady Stoneheart is about. Um, she will play big parts. In the next book? Well, in this book. Okay. She is going to play a big role in the future of Brienne's storyline. Oh, I didn't realize that was it. Yes. Book. So. They come across each other. Huh? Yes, they do. Ooh. Yes. No bueno. They cross paths. All right. So we still need a title. What do you think, Mama? <laughs> I have no idea. No ideas? No ideas. On to salt pans? I don't know. What do you think, Mama? <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. Give me an idea. Come on. You don't have anything? I always come up with them. You've got to come up with them once in a while. I can't think right now. I'm trying to think of something to do with uh, the septum. I can't think of anything. Do you want us to call it pox blankets? Yeah, sure. Okay. We'll call it pox blankets. Is it bedtime? And that's not offensive because you're part Native American. I am. Actually, so there. Not uh, cultural am. appropriation. Yeah. She's part Native American, so we're allowed to do yes. that. My uh, family history has actually five native tribes, so. So all of the fucking Iroquois, apparently. <laughs> Iroquois is one of them, yes. Well, the Iroquois are many tribes. 
Well, r- right, but the just, Iroquois nation was yeah. many tribes put together. Yes. All right, that is the end of Brienne. Yes. What's the next chapter? Uh, it is. I want to say it's Sansa. Nope. Does begin with an S. Samwell. Samwell. Yep. We will be back with Samwell. Arya might be in it. Just saying. If he's in Bravos, then yes. But if he's still on the ship, then no. Yeah, I think that he's in Bravos by this point. We'll have to, we'll have to wait and find out. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to wait I haven't read it in a out. while. But, uh, so we'll be back on Tuesday with uh, Samwell. Yes. Um, let's see. You were going to say something? I was going to say, I think he is in Bravos in this one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, also, be on the lookout for those gaming videos next week. Maester's got plenty of time I've got on his it hands. all figured out. Now I've got the OBS studio installed and set up so I can do the recording of the game while I talk and play it. So uh, you're going to get two playthroughs. I'm going to play through it. And I'm going to let Septa play through it, who doesn't play games. I do not play video games. So we're going to see how funny that turns out. I'm going to let. I'm going to make her make all the choices in her in her version. Okay. I will make the choices in mine, but she's going to make all the choices in hers. Can we have two different people playing it? Two different? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just different save files. It's all good. Okay. Yep. Not a problem. So uh, look for those. I've got plenty of time. I have five days come off you have five coming, days up, off so. coming up. So plenty of time for the gaming. Uh, I've been. I'll have plenty of wine on board. I've been sucked into Red Dead Redemption Two as of late. Yes, he has. Because I finally bought that, but uh, I've been spending more time with my cats than I have with him in quarantine. Uh, I don't think my cats are complaining. Probably not. All right. So uh, till Tuesday, we'll catch you again, guys. Bye. Bye, guys.